so today's video is something a little different that I decided to do. Um, I decided to, like, take out some of my old footage. Well, it's my dad's, but whatever. He allowed me to use it. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys all my favorite catches and some old locomotives that we won't see in 2024. Some of them that we will see in 2024, and some we won't, that were all already gone like years ago. So let's get started. What we're taking a look here is some SD50s that are no longer in service, that are three of them. One is an SD40 that looks like they have BNN paint and a switcher that are probably still in service. ETR, that's what the switcher what has that? for the lettering. It's probably still in service, but I have no idea where it would be at. That's just the thing. I have no idea where the, the switcher would be at. Probably somewhere out in the US. Now we got a 17Z with a CN leader and a IC SD70 1017 and then a BC Well Barn which is no longer out in railroad service. He's basically either it's stored in Homewood, Illinois or scrapped in Lordstown, Ohio. Yeah, it is. Here's another one. An SD60i leading the way on an intermodal bound for Chicago with a Dash 8 and then an 89 series of a Dash 9. And then now we're taking a look here at some SD70s PRX, which is X. Executive Max Funeral Train But the thing is One Mac is a BNSF which is PRX I'm pretty sure all of these are back in service onto BNSF. I'm not really sure What it is, but this was a funeral train of all of these Macs going somewhere eastward Well, this won't be able to catch anymore. I don't know where the Southern Pacific Heritage Unit is at, but I'm not sure if it's in storage or just running around somewhere. We got blocked, and I got a AC44 C6M 4047 that was half painted into NS scheme and half it was not painted. And then now, we're taking a look at a SD60M Triclob. And has had some, and I really didn't get to see much of them, so here's a picture of one. Here's a Dash 8 of CSX that did had, is no longer in service. Back in 2021, Dash 8 to Dash 9. We're back in service till the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024. Well, if you guys have seen this train, every single well fit on Norfolk Southern on every single line, guys, you guys probably have seen this. If not, this is unfortunate because. These F units were leading the OCS back then 
until 2019 and they decided just to sell them off. They're been sold off to a couple short lines and a few of them have been made onto the Weather and Northern, which is based in Pennsylvania. Well, here we go, a Dash 9 of NS is still around today, not this one, a Florida East Coast SD70M-2, which was trailing on an auto electric. Jeez, 290 max, leading an NS for 8. That was pretty unexpected to catch, I got a good picture of it. And I still got the picture on my phone. It's a long well, one. here's another one. This is a very good catch. A SD70 Ace on CN. An SD70 X Santa Fe. And an, an older UP-8. Now we're taking a look of some... Duo of PRX SD70 Executive Max, which are X back then. Now they're not. They took the these PRX sticker off. Well, this train is also kind of good. I also got it from my window. It's X AC6000 was leading. PLX had some, and most of them were leased to Norfolk Southern back then. This was on the old Canadian National Black Rock Subdivision, which is no more to CN. INO runs it now. CIT SD70 was trailing. And here comes, there goes an Operation Lifesaver Dash 9 which is no more today. Here's a duo of barns which are no longer in service. Well, I can pretty much say for sure this one is definitely in storage or scrapped in Lordstown. Either stored in Lordstown or Homewood. A blue devil 2462 is definitely in Lordstown. Ah, uh, here's another one. A trio of cow units. A BC well was leading away of a CN M382, which was A482. Now it's M382 which I do get to see that a lot. Here's a couple of BNSF Jeevos that is leading the way, but the third unit will shock you. An SD40-2 Operation Lifesaver is no longer in service. It's basically on the CCET. And here goes a CN-9 Leading an Avenal with an SD-75I. This was taken in back in 2020. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take that up back a bit. AC44CW, an SD70 ACU, and then Tier 4 Ace, we built AC44, SD40, and 2 west of AC44CW. That was crazy last year. An SD70, an SD70M, and 2 
LMS-8 from CSX. Those ain't in service anymore, they're in storage in Waycross, Georgia. Okay, the C40 is no longer in service, that's in storage. But the Jivo is still in service. SD60-6446. SD40-2 is still in service. But what the heck is this locomotive? I seen it, but never really, like, thought about it. That's in storage. The Central Georgia, and whatever that CP unit was, and the Dash 8. That Dash 8 is no longer in service. That's rebuilt into a AC44C6M. A C40-8, no longer in service, but the Cal unit is no longer in service either. Y'all might be thinking, why is this nothing special? It just has a Jivo leading. Nah, uh uh Look at the second unit. That's no Jivo trailing unit. It's a Blue Devil that's trailing second. Hey, 2462 is the same Blue Devil that I saw back in 2019. Here it is, trailing on M383. That was the last Blue Devil I ever saw before they were gone or swept. Here is a Dash 8 leading, no longer in service. Jivo, you can see, Dash 9, Triclop, SD60-9. Dash the Dash 9, two of them, you can still see in service. Jivo, you can, but the West, you cannot. Those are either gone from the NS roster. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. And if you guys enjoyed sharing with old catches of mine, let me know. If you guys ever want to see new videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll either see you guys in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.